One fight that I thought might be uh, quite interesting is uh, the fight between uh, John Jones and Jiri Prohaska. Now, obviously, um, John Jones has recently left the light heavyweight weight class, um, but it wasn't too long ago. Well, it was around a two two years ago when he fought Reyes, and um, that was his last opponent since he's going to campaign at heavyweight, presumably. But now that um, he's gone from um, the light heavyweight limit, obviously the person that took his place. Um, is uh, Glover Teixeira who he already beat by the way to get the light heavyweight strap and the person who's going to fight him is Jiri Prohaska now Jiri Prohaska's um, they both have an, uh, a common opponent between each other and that common opponent is um, Dominic Reyes now we saw what um, Dominic Reyes did to uh, John Jones I thought uh, Dominic Reyes actually won that fight against John Jones my mentality is that if Dominic if, if John Jones did what Dominic Reyes did in that fight uh, John Jones would have won, basically. That that's what I think. Literally, I, I just think um, he he was horribly robbed that night. But if you watch the Jiri Prohaska fight, I know everyone remembers the knockout that he did um, against Jiri Pro, Jiri Prohaska done against Dominic Reyes, and that's the highlight of the fight. The way he brutally knocked him out. But the fact is, Jiri Prohaska himself admitted that basically um, in that fight, he himself got concussed and almost got knocked the fuck out. I mean, he, he almost got knocked out in that fight um, because um, the fact is that uh, he is uh, one, one of the most uh, talented uh, fighters and he's the most dynamic fighter. But because he, he puts himself out there so much and he's so wild, he does get caught a lot. So I think it is, it's a fascinating fight. If they both were to fight each other at light heavyweight. I think that fight would have been incredible. Another fight that I would have loved to see with Jiri Prohaska. This one of the reasons why he's one of my favourite fighters. Is because there's so many fascinating fights that you can have with him. A fight against him versus Jan Blakovic would be incredible. A fight against him versus uh, Rakic would be incredible. A fight against him and he's going to fight Glover Teixeira is going to be incredible. Because you just don't know exactly who's going to win. So from that perspective I, I just think it's incredible. Um... Uh, that uh, we we never got to see a fight between um uh, and no, nobody ever talks about it because obviously John Jones has gone up to light heavyweight uh, up to heavyweight um so yeah so from that perspective I, I just think it'll be a fascinating fight I think both of them are exciting and uh, Jerry Pro I, I would edge towards John Jones just because John Jones has accomplished so much and is potentially one of the greatest of all time but if Jerry perhaps if if Dominic Reyes can do to John Jones what he did. Um, the guy that beat him, which was uh, Jiri Prohaska, you could just imagine like what type of fight he would give him. Even Jan Blakovic would give John Jones a good fight, I reckon. So from that perspective, and uh, I think I think is 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 one of the uh, most Im incredible fights that I could we could potentially see. Um, but obviously now John Jones is going up to heavyweight and he's negotiating for his pay and what he wants. There we're probably never going to see it, but I honestly think a uh, Jiri Prohaska versus a uh, John Jones would be an incredible fight. Um, you've got the greatest of all time against one of the most dynamic, interesting fighters of all time. Um, not of all time, but in recent years, I think. Jerry Prohaska is there, definitely one of the most fascinating fighters that I've ever seen. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on that. What do you think? Who would win between Jerry Prohaska versus John Jones? And who would you put your money on? Who, who would you bet on winning that fight? I, I would put it towards um, John Jones by a slight edge, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Jerry Prohaska can pull it out the bag because John Jones hasn't been looking too impressive recently. I mean, obviously, we saw how he did against um, Reyes. Obviously, he struggled against Thiago Santos. He, he tends to struggle against tall fighters. Who have a bit of a range on him. Obviously Gustafsson gave him a hell of a fight in their first fight. Um, and obviously uh, um, Jiri Prohaska uh, fits that type of archetype. He, he's a tall fighter with, with a lot of um, with, with a lot of uh, um, awkward movement and, and a lot of range as well. So I think he can give give John Jones a hell of a fight. And I think he can um, actually hurt him and put him in a position where um, he, he can be vulnerable. But unfortunately we're never going to see that fight again. Um, ever because um, obviously John Jones has gone up to heavyweight there could be a possibility it happens if Jiri Prohaska goes to heavyweight but um, that's neither here nor there that, that could be a decade from now or five years from now so we just don't know what's going to happen so yeah it's just just the food for thought who do you think would win between Jiri Prohaska versus uh, John Jones if they were to fight just from a stylistic point of view let me know below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel I've got a lot more content coming your way peace